Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial for the January Alpha Test for Starborn Sovereign Space. My name is Aurelius and I am Starborn's Community Manager. Now the first thing I want to do is to manage your expectation, be, realize that this is an alpha test. Uh, many things uh, might be programmed and many things might be hidden, so uh, it will probably pay to watch this tutorial to the end. Uh, should you encounter any problems or have any questions, uh, feel free to join us on forum or Discord. Both links are in the description below. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's start. Uh, Starborn is a 4x MMORTS game. Uh, it's a massively multiplayer real-time strategy game, which means that every action that you take takes real time to complete. Uh, this is the map for the January game. We have five starting locations, so if you are joining the alpha with some friends uh, you can start at, at least not on the opposite sides of the map but in the same sector uh, the first thing i want to show you is if we zoom in and take a little look at the map uh, there are four types of hexes in the game uh, you can this is what we call the hex information box uh, you can press space to change the way you see the board and I'm going to press it twice. So this is the normal view mode, the scan view mode, or exploration view mode, and then the resource view mode. And here we can see all the resource yields of all the hexes that yield resources in the game. Uh, first, we have these uh, resource hexes. They only give one type of resource. Uh, there are four types of resources. Uh, we have crystal, the green one. Uh, metal is the gray. Uh, we have ice, which converts into labor, which is the orange one, and then we have uh, gas, which is the blue one. Uh, then we have planet and moon hexes, and they have multiple resource yield types. And whenever you build a station next to these hexes, all of the resource yield of those uh, hexes that you are next to with your station will be uh, transferred into your station per hour. So if you build a station next to this plant here, you will get 40 metal, 40 gas, 40 crystal, and 40 labor uh, to your station. Uh, then we have uh, the sun, the suns or star hexes. Uh, they sometimes spawn missions, but otherwise they do not play a major role uh, in the strategy of the game. Uh, and then we have the void hexes or empty hexes. And it is on void hexes that you build everything that you build on the map. I'm going to change into the normal view mode. Uh, here is my uh, station and my magnificent empire. It spans the whole of one hex at the moment. And in order to interact with your station, you need to double click the hex it is on. And then you get up this uh, station panel. Uh, if I double click to deselect it, there's also another way in case if you're lost somewhere in the map. You can just press one and instantly zoom and select your your first station then you can press two when you have two stations for the second station etc uh, if we take a little bit look at this resource panel the first thing i want to show you is uh, not the resource panel sorry the station panel uh, the first thing i want to show you is the resource uh, pane here uh, firstly you have a resource cap which is determined by your warehouse uh, this says how much of these three resources you can have at most should you for any reason receive resources uh, while you have your cap filled those resources will be wasted now the fourth resource labor is a little bit different from the other three uh, you use the first three the metal gas and crystal to build any buildings inside of station any outposts that belong to the station and all units labor is however uh, used to maintain the upkeep for all the things that you built so if I have, uh, for instance, I have these three uh, patrol ships in this uh, fleet here, and they cost me three uh, labor upkeep uh, every hour. So I have 330 labor total and 227 free. In order to build anything inside the station, you need to enter the buildings tab here. Uh, and the, this is the uh, station building planner. Uh, on the left side, uh, you have what we call uh, resource buildings or production buildings. Uh, by bu leveling these buildings up, I increase the metal, crystal and gas 
output of the station and if I level this building here I get more labor. Uh, the buildings, uh, and this is the warehouse here, if you level it, you increase the warehouse cap. Uh, these buildings here are divided into three paths, the military path, or military buildings, domain buildings, and industrial buildings. Uh, building your station uh, in the industrial path makes it produce more resources and allows it to freight resources easier. easier, easier it's easier to freight resources to other stations. Uh, if you go into the domain path, your station will be specialized in uh, espionage, uh, exploration and labor output, uh, while the military buildings allow you to set up uh, robust defenses and increase your uh, available uh, fleet size and fleet pool. Now, this is the influence bar. I'm going to show you. Uh, you can see it also here. Uh, whenever you increase your influence, uh, when, you, when you cross the influence threshold, your station will level up. Right now I have a level one station, which allows me to build all of these building, buildings, but I need to build buildings or outposts to increase the influence uh, so that I can get to level two. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm just gonna build the first level of this metal refinery. Uh, and because it takes, it has less than five minutes left off on its timer, I can press the hurry button here to finish it immediately. But I'm not gonna do that right away. I want you to see that when it finishes, uh, that I have crossed the influence threshold and now I can pay to upgrade my station to level two. Uh, before I do that, I'm gonna show you that I got an achievement, built a production building, and for this achievement, I got this card, Willy Games. Uh, I'll, I'll return to the cards in a moment. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade my station. As you can see, the influence radius of my station increases. Uh, but it does not affect the harvest radius uh, of the station. The station harvests any hex in a one hex radius and brings uh, its resources into the station per hour. So I'm getting all of the resources from, these, from this planet and this moon. Uh, and it has more metal. So as you can see, the metal production is higher uh, because this planet gives me extra metal. Um, Once I've uh, leveled my station, you can see that these buildings now in the level two have now opened and I can start building them. Uh, the second thing you can build uh, are units. And I'm just gonna put 10 of each of these basic units into production. Uh, wait, I'll do this one first. Uh -oh. And finally the scout ship. Uh, the thing about uh, unit production is that units by themselves do very little. You have to place units inside of fleets in order to use units. Uh, here I have another achievement. I've upgraded my station and for that I get another card. Um, so I'm going to enter the exploration mode now and show you how you can use your fleets. You select any fleet and you right click a hex. And under the fleet operations, you can see all available uh, options you have with that fleet. Uh, this is a scout unit, and I'm just going to order it to place a, uh, a scan probe on this hex. And what the scan probe does it is it looks for uh, signals all around it. Uh, when, it doesn't, uh, when it does detect a signal, you will see these, this heat map come alive. I'm just going to put a few more probes down. So you can see how the heat map works. Uh, the warmer the hex, the more likely it is to contain a mission. Uh, I've already, I was lucky enough to find the mission right away because if you place a probe on top of a hex that contains a mission, you will automatically find it. But otherwise you will have to see that we, uh, on each hex you have this, this, this scan strength and your scan strength needs to match the signal interference from the mission in order for you to find it. But the hex that contains uh, the probe always has 100 scan strength, so you can always find everything that's on that hex. Missions is what you do in order to get cards. Um, in the inventory, you can see all the cards that you have gained 
uh, these two cards I got from my from my achievements from doing doing them and to place a card on your station you go to the cards here uh, click uh, a slot for your card select the card and assign it uh, this slot here is a time slot and only accepts cards that have time durations while these accept uh, cards that are permanent and you use cards to customize your station and to give it special abilities and willy game is here gives me 20 resources an hour of all of these three resources as well as it, it increases my building queue i can now build three buildings simultaneously i'm just gonna do that here I'm just going to build this guidance systems and I can hurry these and that one and that one. Now what the guidance systems building did and if you see these little squares here it opens up the possibility of building an, an outpost. Uh, outposts are ways to expand your station's capabilities. Uh, the guidance system building uh, has its own functionality which you can see in the grey text while the, mis while the outpost that this building unlocks has its text in orange. And you can see this on all the buildings that, that unlock outposts. They have this orange text which explains uh, how the outpost it unlocks works. Uh, in order to build outposts or indeed new stations, you have to have industrials. Um, um, I'm waiting for them to complete uh, their build so I'm just gonna show you now how to create new fleets now let me see I have got some achievements here I got 10 more corvettes uh, here's another card uh, more cards and more corvettes more cards for my station I've discovered the mission and I've performed the scan operation so now in my inventory I have a lot of cards uh, let's make use of some of them. I'm going to go to the Navy UI here. Here you can see all of the fleets that you have. And here you can recruit officers to uh, control your fleets. You need an officer to, in order to make a fleet. Uh, right now, the distinction between what is a fleet and what is an officer is kind of vague. They're really kind of the same thing. So if you see somewhere in the game plus one fleet, uh, it really means that you can recruit an extra for officer. Uh, and I'm going to recruit this. I'm going to get a new name. Cowan, Lieutenant Cowan. Uh, and I'm going to make a Corvette fleet. This means that I have 30 Corvettes in my garrison, which uh, you can see here. Uh, and I'm just going to create the fleet and put all the garrison units into the fleet. And voila, now I have this Lieutenant, oh, I forgot the name, oh, never mind. So now I've got Lieutenant Gibbs controlling this Corvette fleet. Uh, over here, ooh, create Corvette fleet achievement. Oh, wonderful, 10 more. So the way you place units inside the fleet is that you hold in shift and you just scroll them into the fleet. Another way is that you can do it in here. This was Lieutenant Gibbs with the Corvette fleet. Is that you can take them out and put them into the fleet here as well. Um, here we have a little NPC. Uh, and I am going to attack it. So I select my Corvette fleet. I right click the NPC, go to fleet operations. And I have three options. Deploy means just to move the fleets here and I am not allowed to dock at the NPC station. So I have these two different uh, attack options. The difference between them is that raid does less damage but it steals resources while assault does more damage and it is only through assault movements that you can bomb other stations when you have gunships. So I'm just going to raid it now. And wait for that to finish. Another uh, fact about combat is that combat is, uh, there, there are rounds in combat. Uh, combat just happens automatically uh, when your attacking movement lands. Uh, all your fleets and units fight all of the defensive uh, capabilities of your, of your target. And 
you get a message, a combat report which tells you what happened. So tutorial dude raided the Tian Chao minor warlord uh, at this station and was victorious. My 40 ships, uh, 39 survived, made 25 XP. Uh, they had five ships on defense, none of them survived. And these are the resources I stole. Well, I gotta make sure that I have room in my warehouse when I'm stealing resources, which I had, so I got all my resources, uh, which is fantastic. Um, let's take a look at this mission now. If I right click the mission, I can do view mission and I can see it's a, it's a low threat level. Uh, the reward is a basic black market cachet. And the requirements for completing this mission is one industrial fleet and one escort. Uh, one escort can be any fleet of any type, but I need at least one industrial fleet, which has 200 combined cargo space, which I satisfy, and then I need one escort, and then I just send them on their way. Now, there isn't any combat or anything when you do missions, you just need to satisfy the requirements. Uh, if you do not, there's, there's a lower limit and an upper limit, and the further you are away from the upper limit, uh, as you can see here, the more, uh, the slower your return turn trip will be. Uh, when when the uh, mission performing fleet returns, you will get the cachet the mission promised. Uh, I have completed the mission. That's an achievement. Uh, let's see. And this is the card that I got for completing that mission. Now, one thing about cards is that you can uh, break down the cards for this value here, which we call prestige, and you can craft any card in the game as long as you have enough prestige. I'm just going to click show cards not own. Uh, here you can see all the cards in the game, and I recommend uh, taking a, at least a brief look on the cards to see what options are available to you to customize your fleets and station. Now, if you want to uh, customize your fleets with cards, the quickest way to do it is just to right click the fleet here. Uh, it will open up with its rows expanded. You can see all the details for the fleet here. And you can cl click these card slots to assign cards. Uh, the blue one is for timed cards only, while the other ones are for permanent cards. So let's see what we can do here. We can increase the offensive uh, firepower defensive which i don't want because corvettes are offensive uh, okay so i'm gonna take two bombardment firepower and one speed to make it go faster and see if i have any timed cards uh, this one yeah this one's great for doing missions it lasts for a week that's fantastic i'm gonna, I'm gonna save him for a little bit and then i have these uh, scout fleets uh, they use different cards uh, and sometimes the same cards, but they also have like this one, which I got as a reward before, which increases the base scan of the probes they set on the map. Now I'm waiting for a few more industrials uh, so that I can, let me see, I have, I hurried, I delivered the five that were ready. Uh, I'm just going to scroll them into this fleet here. Because uh, I want to, I unlocked the missile battery and I want to build it. So I select the fleet, I go over here to the fleet action buttons, uh, build station, build outpost. I'm just going to build it right next to me. And you can see here that I only have 1600 of the 4200 cargo space required. So in order to build this outpost, I do not only need the resources to build it, I also need the expansion point and to have enough cargo space to deliver the resources to the hex I'm going to build it on. Now, expansion points you can see up here and these points are earned uh, by by like the you earn more expansion points and faster the more buildings and outposts that you have built inside of your station and outside it because build outposts are of course only built outside so i'm just going to try and increase this production a little bit and i, I might jump onto my admin account and just give me one expansion point so I can build it. So now I'm back after cheating a little bit with my admin tools. Uh, I gave myself some industrials 
as well as some expansion points so I can show you this functionality. Uh, I'm just going to scroll the industrials into the fleet, uh, right click this hex here, fleet operations, construct, missile battery, and I can also, as before, use uh, these and build it. Now what the missile battery does, it, it participates in any defensive combat in a one hex radius. So I'm building it next to my station so that if anybody attacks me, uh, the missile battery will fire and help me uh, defend my station. One thing about uh, more is about espionage. Uh, up here you will see how many covert operatives you have. Uh, I have zero at the moment. One is coming in 20 minutes. Uh, but you can use these to spy on other stations. You can also use your scout fleets to spy on other stations, but I have so few units in my fleet, it will not uh, do me much good. I will probably get back an espionage report saying that uh, <laughs> I discovered nothing. Let me see. We'll go to messages. Recon report. Uh, spies at a total scan strength of 0.25. Uh, our spies spying operation remained undetected. Uh, actually, I got to know a, lot of, a little bit about it. I, I got to know which buildings are inside it. I don't know their levels uh, because I could not get a reliable reading on building or outpost levels or ships in fleets. So I don't know uh, its fleet status or the unit status because uh, my recon is so weak because I have so few units in the fleet. Um, before I leave you, I, I thoroughly uh, recommend that you guys take a look at the tutorial achievements and exploration achievements and try to finish these because they, they will greatly help you advance in the game. Now, as your borders will grow and other players around you will grow their borders, uh, you guys will have to figure out if it's going to be a friendly game with your neighbors or, <laughs> or if you're going for the throat. Uh, before I leave you, I, I'm going to encourage you to join us on Discord. Uh, there are a lot of players there, easy to get answers to questions. Uh, and then there's also a lot of information on the forums. You will find links to both the forums and to, to our Discord chat in the description below. Uh, and I wish you happy empire building.